Hey, this is Dave at HouseParents.com. Today we're gonna go ahead and put a trim ring on our shower valve. Pretty simple project. All right, here are the pieces we have for our trim ring kit. This is the main trim ring. It has a, a foam, kind of like foam seals. Where the word Delta is, is the bottom. You get an Allen wrench, that'll put the handle on. Here's the handle. And the handle has a set screw uh, hole. This is the set screw right there. This is an O-ring and a plastic seal for this. And so we're gonna go ahead and use these to make sure that this is going over the bonnet ring and the valve. Uh, it pretties everything up and it'll be nice and sturdy with these pieces on it already. And then these two long screws. So first things first, we take this rubber O-ring, we're gonna put it over the bonnet here, the bonnet ring. And it slides over that and we'll roll it back to right behind this ring. So it's sitting right like that. We'll put this plastic spacer inside here, push it all the way to the bottom. It's where it seats all the way inside there. And now the rubber O-ring that we already put on is gonna go right here and it's gonna seal this real well. So we slide this over. Uh, if you want to, before you go too far, you want to make sure your, your adjustment for the water temperature is right. We've got another video right up there. If you want to check that out, each tooth adjustment, when you turn it like that, it makes the max temperature hotter or colder. And so if you find that your shower is too hot or too cold, you can go ahead and, and deal with it right there. We'll go ahead and put our, our ring over this, push this over and seat it as far back as she'll go. That's pretty much it right there. Okay, to make sure that everything's good on these, because sometimes uh, some mud, uh, thin set or whatever can get inside these holes. So I'm putting a screw in here the first time just to make sure everything goes in real smoothly while I can see it, because when I have to put the trim ring on, it's blind. So those are both working real good. So now I just gotta put the trim ring on if I line the trim ring up right with delta at the bottom, then these holes should be straight to the screw. And that's what we're gonna try to do. Make sure it's right there. And now this is all just done by feel. Try to put it straight in there. Missed. All right, so I got one. This is the hardest part of the operation just because you can't see where these screws are supposed to go. You can only feel. Nope, missed that one. There we go. Okay, so I finally found both of them. And you just have to go slow because you'll know once you get to the right spot because the screw spins and spins pretty easily. So following the old plumbing adage, tight but not too tight, just want to snug it up there pretty good. And evenly back and forth. Feels pretty good. And then last but not least is this little set screw here. The Allen wrench, there's a hole in the bottom of the set screw. Put the Allen wrench in and it'll hold. And so we're gonna go ahead and place this. There's the hole right there is the hole. And it's, it's pretty delicate operation there to get in its hole. The problem is um, you can only spin this Allen wrench a half spin and then you have to take it out and put it back in again. So you can see there, you can no longer see the set screw. It's past this part 
and it's all inside this base. And before it protrudes into the hole, we'll stick this on. And so this is meant to go sit on here at nine o'clock. And now we just gotta finish the last bit of tightening. And once you kind of get there, you can feel it tighten up pretty quickly. It starts to interfere. Yeah, so just a couple turns and we're there. Yep, that's on good and tight. We already put this in. This is simply a screw in. It screws into the uh, fitting that's behind the tile wall there. And this cap just pushes on next to the wall. So this is super simple. It just screws in. At the end, you can put pipe thread tape or uh, pipe dope or uh, pipe paste. And either one of those work. But that's super simple. And after you've done that, your shower is good to go. Hope this video helps. Subscribe, like, comment. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.